hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel my name is aisha in today's video i will be showing you how to make this mazi gown thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial I have my material here with me. I have three out of crepe. This is three out of crepe. And I have this also. I will be making use of this for the plain part of the dress. So let's start. I'll fold my material into two. You can see it this way. For you to get your folding, you come here, the hip of your client, you divide the hip of your client into four. So the hip I'm using here is 45. So this is 45, you can see. I have 45 here, this is 45. So from here, I had eight to nine inches to hit. You can see, so I had nine inches to hit for me to get that free A shape for the side. And the reason why I'm using nine inches for this particular person because she's pregnant. Supposing it's normal person, I will use six inches. Six inches is okay for normal person. But because the person is pregnant, so I need to make it free for her to be comfortable. So I will be cutting the back aspect first. So the half length I will be using from the shoulder to the nail and the upper nail. So I will come here from this down aspect here. You can see from here. I will measure 39 inches and I will be adding half inch to height. Half inch, you had half inch to height, making 39 and half. The half inch is for the joining at the down aspect. So you can see this is it. So you come here. So this is our 39 inches and this is our starting point. So from here, I will be taking a shoulder measurement. A shoulder is 16. You divide the shoulder by 2. That will give us 8. So here, I will be coming down by 9 inches for the half hole length. So you come here, you measure 8 inches also. To straighten, straighten it to the upper part to meet this, you can see. So now I will be taking the circumference measurement. So the bust I'm using is 42. So this 42. So I'll have two inches to it. That's the hem seam allowance. So this two inches after a bust. Now I will be taking the under bust measurement from the shoulder downward. The under bust I'm using is 14 and a half. So this is our under bust. For a under bust, because she's pregnant, supposing is not pregnant, I would have make use of our waist measurement here. But because she's pregnant, I will need to make use of a hip measurement. For it to be free, you know, she's going to tie belts on it. For it to be free at the under bust down aspect. So I will come here. I will be making use of a hip measurement. A hip is 45 inches. A hip is 45 inches. So this is 45. You can see. So I'll have two inches to it. This is it. So from here, I will shape it downward. 
So I'll be giving it a shape downward for it to be free. That's the reason. But supposing she's not pregnant, I would have make use of a normal waist measurement. I will make use of a normal waist measurement divided by four, and I'll add my two inches to it for the hem seam. So that's all. But because of our condition, that's why I'm making use of a hip measurement at uh, the under bust measurement for the calf time to be free. We'll be shaping it. If you give it a shape to the down aspect. Now I'll come here. I'll be coming down for the shoulder slope from the air. You measure one inch for the shoulder slope. The neck I'm using, I'm making use of three inches for the width. And at the back aspect, I'm making use of one inch for the depth. One inch. So you give it shape this way. So at the back aspect, I'll give it shape this way. And at the center here, here, I will measure five inches downward. I will slit it at the center of the back aspect. So I will slit it to this point. So I'll measure five inches downward. So here, we'll give it our shoulder slope. So this is our shoulder slope. And here, I will look for my midpoint. This is my midpoint. The midpoint of from here, we have eight inches divided by two. That will give us four inches. So we'll create our arm O curve from there. You know, we are cutting the back aspects first. So you can see. So we create our arm O curve. This is it. I will be adding half inch to this shoulder here. So you add half inch to it for the joining at the upper part here, you can see. So I had half inch to it for the joining at the upper part. I half inch for the joining. So this is the joining, you can see it. So now I will be cutting it out. So now we'll come to this upper part and I'll slit it into two. Yeah. So you can see, so this is the back aspect. You can see it. I've placed the back aspect on this to cut out the front aspect. I also fold it into two. This is it. So you can see this is it. So you make sure the lines as in you follow the lines the pattern on the fabric so you make sure it's equal you follow the lines so that your work will be neat so you can see so i make it of you can see that it's equal you can see it so this is it you can see so you place it this way and at the front aspect we are adding yoke to it at the front aspect the plain material will be at the upper part for the yoke i'm making use of season half for the yoke so i'll come here and we've already add half inch to this at the shoulder so i will be making use of this half inch plus six inches because you know here we are still going to join it to the yoke we will leave that inches that half inch we will leave it on this so that we'll be able to join it to the yoke so i'll come here i'll measure six and half six and half instead of me taking seven inches you know if i should plus half plus six and half it will give me seven inches but no i won't take seven inches i will be making use of six and half a so because of the joining you are going to join it to the yoke so this is the six and half you can see it so this is our six and half you can see it so now I will come here from here. This is our midpoint. You can see I leave half inch at the top here. So I measure eight inches downward. 
So the four inches is our midpoint. If you could remember the back aspect, when I'm cutting the back aspect for the arm, oh, four inches is our midpoint. So from here, I will be going inward by one inch. One inch. I will go inward by one inch. So let me just trace this out. can see it so now this is our midpoint this is our midpoint you can see it this is our midpoint and this is where this is where our season half stop so this is where our season half stop you can see this is it so now i will be going inward by one inch for the front arm o. you can see it this is it so now i will shape it come here so you blend it here so this is the front arm o. so now we'll be cutting this out this is where our six and a half stop. You can see. You can see. So this is where our six and a half stop. So now I will cut it out and place it back this way. This is it. You can see. So this is our. You can see this is our front part. You can see. It. So you come here, you bring it together this way, and notch it at the center here. So you notch this at the center. Here. So. Now, I will be cutting the yoke. <laughs> For the yoke, you fold your material into two, you can see. So, I fold it this way. So, this is my starting point. So, from here, I will measure seven inches downward. You know, we will be adding half inch to our yoke length, making seven inches, six and a half plus half. That will give us seven inches. So this is it. So you measure seven inches downward here. So this is where my seven inches stop. You can see. So this is where my seven inches stop. So now the shoulder I'm using is 16 inches divided by two. So this is it. Okay. I'll measure that 16 inches also. So you divide by two. So that's it. So you draw it to meet this. You can see. So this is it. So here, I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. And at the neck, yeah, I'm making use of I'm making use of three inches for the width. Three inches for the width. And three inches for the depth. So this is it. So you shape it round. You can see this is round. So now here I will slant it here. So you slant it this way. And we'll be adding our half inch for the joining to it. So this is our half inch for the joining. You add your half inch to it at the shoulder. So this is it. So from here. From here, this is our midpoint. That's four. From here, after the shoulder slope, you can see. I'll come inward by one inch. So this is our one inch. You can see. You can see it. So you shape it this way. So you can see it. You 
So now I will be cutting it out. So this is the yolk part. This is it. I've cut out the down part. This is the down part. So this is it. You make sure the down part is a bit longer. You can just make use of two and a half inch or three inches long so that you can see. So, but my material, I'm short of my material. So, I will be adding this to the side, to the two sides. So, I will join it to the two sides, this material, this black material. And this is the yoke. So, you can see this is the yoke. I've, I've cut out the lining for the yoke. This is it. And this is the sleeve. You can see so and I've cut out the one I'll be using for the edge of the sleeve to turn the edge of the sleeve You can see it. I make use of I make use of three and half you can see it. I make use of three and a half Three and a half wide you can see so and this is the belt So you can see so this is the belt so at the edge of the belt you shape it this way you give it a sharp shape at the edge you can see you can see the shape so you give it a sharp shape at the edge the two edge of the belt. you fold your belt this way when you want to cut it you double it you can see you double your belt this way and this is the one i will be using for the pleats the pleats of the joining of the yoke and the body together so the down aspect together, the pleats that will be in between the yoke and the down part. So this is it. So I'm making use of five and a half. I will be folding it into two this way. You can see and had my pleats on it. So that's all about the cutting aspect. Now I will be showing you the sewing part. I have the back aspect here with me. So I will need to pile the neck first. So, and this center, so I'll be piling it first. So let me do that. So I have this, I'll be using this to pile it. From the back aspect, you place it on it this way. So you come here you can see you notch it all around i'll sew it to the front this way you fold it like this you can see and place your sewing on it So this is it you can see so now we'll come to this center here so you fold it this way together like this from the back aspect here you can see the way i fold it you pick it together this way at the back aspect i'll be adding a sewing to it here in form of that in form of that small that like this so you can see so this is the front part. So now I will come here for the neck. So you fold it like this at the back aspect. You can see the way I fold it. So you fold it like this and place it like this. Now I will notch it all around. So you fold it this way. It, this is it same thing applies to the other side here so here i need to lose it a bit for me to add my button hole to it i forgot that when i was adding this to it so this is it you come to the back aspect this way you place it on it at the back aspect like this you can see from the back part you place it on it like this and sew it first 
of it. So this is it. So now you place this on it this way and join it to it like this. Okay, so you bring it together this way and join it to it. can see it so this is it you can see it so this is it we can easily add our button here so you can see so this is it and this is the down part of the front aspect so i'll be placing this on it you can see the way i place it make sure it's a bit longer than this you can see You can see so this is it you can see now this is the yoke so i will need to turn it so i will be using the lining to turn it this way so i will not it all around now I'll top stitch on the line. You fold it this way, you can see. Top stitch on it. Now you pick it together this way, you can see, and you notch it at the center. So this is the center. So we'll come here. So I'll be placing it on it this way. This is the center of this. So you place the two together. To meet at the center, you place it to meet at the center like this. You can just use your office pin to hold it. Like so. so now I will be placing my sewing on it downward. So this is it, you can see it. So this is it, this is the front part. So now I will need to join it at the shoulder together with the back aspect. So I to join it, so you place it this way. And you bring your lining from here to the back aspect like this. You can see, and you place your sewing on it. So this is it, so you turn it to the front, you can see. Same thing applies to the second shoulder. Now for the sleeve, this is the sleeve, you can see. So I will be turning it with this black material. So you place it this way from the back aspect. Place it like this from the back aspect and sew it downward.
Hold it this way and place your sewing on it downward. So this is it. Same thing applies to the second sleeve. I have joined the plane to the two sleeve. So you can see this is, this is the back aspect and this is the front part. You can see. So now I will be joining the sleeve to the body. So this is the body. So we pick the sleeve from the shoulder here. You can see where I notch. You notch it at the center. Center of the sleeve at the edge here. And you place it this way. So you sew it all around to the shoulder. So this is it. This is it. So I've joined it to the shoulder. You can see it. So same thing applies to the second shoulder. Let me do that. See, I've joined the two sleeve to it and I've weave it round. You can see it. So this is it. So now I will be joining it at the side as well. I will be joining this pocket to it. So this is the pocket. I've cut out the pocket. You can see. You join it at the upper part here and you measure from here. You won't join it to the hand, you can see. So so that you'll be able to join it to the body. So this is where I will use in joining it to the body. We leave half inch. And from here you measure six inches or seven inches downward. So where your six or seven inches stop, that's where you start this sewing. You can see I leave half inch here. You can see round. You will start it all around. You will sew it all around this way to this point. So now if we are joining it, we will be placing it this way to the front aspect and to the back aspect like this, you can see. So now I will be joining the pockets to it. I will be making use of 10 inches here. So I will come here. I will be making use of 10 inches. So this is 10 inches. Over here, 13 and a half. Now for the pockets, I'll come to the shoulder from here downward. So for the pocket, you come here to the shoulder from here. So you measure 17 inches downward. 17 inches downward so this is where my 17 inches stop you can see so this is where my 17 inches stop so that's where i will be stopping this swing I've done that to the second side also, you can see. So I've sewed it to where our 17 inches stop for us to fix our pocket. So you open this in same. Yeah. So you open it this way. So you come here, you notch this. You can see. So you notch it to this point. So this is so now we we'll join this to this side also. You can see so this is it. We we'll join our pockets to it. So this is it. 
so you can see from the front part so now i'll come here where our string stop here so you will sew it downward from there so you bring this out this way so you start your sewing from here So you can see so this is it this is our pocket fix our pocket so this is so same thing applies to the second side i've joined the pocket to the two side you can see it so this is it and i've joined it to the down part this is it so let me turn it to the front first to seal the pocket so you can see so this is our pocket you can see it so this is it so now i will be joining the down part of it to it so this is it so i've joined it together i you know i said i will be adding this plain material to the side so i have added to the side to the two side you can see so i've added to the two side and i've weaved both the hopper part and the down part so i weave both the hopper part and the down part you can decide to fold yours so it depends on how you want it as for me how i've weaved it all around you can see i've weaved the both the upper part and the down part because we will be sewing it out at the hopper part this joining here this one will be outside like this we'll be placing it on hit this way and i will add pleats to hit i'll be placing it on hit this way and i will add my pleats to hit you can see so let me do that so for us to start so we'll pick this together this way as in the upper part so you look for the midpoint you fold it together this way and look for the midpoint so this is the midpoint that's the center front and the center back so it's very important you know the center front so that when placing our pleats on it one side will not be fuller than the other side so that's the reason for this so everything will be equal you can see so this is it and you pick this also same thing you fold it this way so this is my side see so you use chalk to do that this is the side, the two side. You see. And you fold this together this way. Fold it together this way. For us to get the center. So I fold it together, you can see. So this is the center. You point it. see center front and center back so now we'll be joining it to it so this is the side of the upper part and this is the side of the down part so you place it this way you can see you just use half inch you can see so i'll place it like this and i'll start my sewing from there So this is the center of the upper part and this is the center of the down part you can see so you can see that is equal 
you continue the process until you finish up see this is it i've joined it all around you can see it so i've joined it all around to hit so you can see so this is it you can see that it meets where we chalk you can see that it meets both front and back so that's the reason why you have to chalk it for it to be equal so that one side will not be fuller than the other side so this is it so i'm done with the sewing you can see so i'm done with just for me to fix the button at the back one button i'll fix one button here so at the back aspect so that's all about the cutting of our a shape gown with pleats added down if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified thanks for watching bye